The Registry of Research Data Repositories, also known as RE3 Data, is a multidisciplinary open science tool that indexes existing international repositories for research data. As per 2020, RE3 Data lists well over 2,500 data repositories. In order to be enlisted in RE3 Data, a repository needs to meet certain requirements. It needs to be run by a legal entity such as an, a, a sustainable institution, for example a library or university, and the repository needs to clarify access conditions to the data and repository, as well as the terms of use, and have a focus on research data. RE3 Data is a rather user-friendly tool which allows users to quickly navigate between an array of different data repositories all over the world. In this session we will go through some of the basic features of RE3 Data. We'll start off by using the Browse function. Here you can choose between three categories, subject, content type, or country. If you click the country option, a world map appears, where all the areas in green mark all the countries from which data repositories are included in the, in the registry. By hoovering over a country, you will see the number of repositories included in the registry from that particular country. If you prefer, you can also click the text tab in order to display a list of the countries and the number of repositories from each country, listed according to alphabetical order. Once you click a country, a list with the repository from the selected country appears. This is particularly useful if you are looking into using a repository from a specific country or region. If we go back to the start page, we will look at another function of the Browse feature. This time we will try the subject browser. Once you click on the subjects button, a colorful wheel appears which features the major disciplines included in the repository registry. If you click one of the overarching disciplines, for example the humanities and social sciences, the wheel changes and the subjects become more specialized. Every time you click on the subject on the next level, the wheel changes until you reach the final level. You can always go back by clicking on the center of the wheel. Once you have reached the last sub-discipline, a list appears with, which features all the repositories specializing in that particular topic. If you prefer, you can also browse using the text version instead of the graphical version, which simply lists all the subjects available. If you know what you're looking for already from the start, you can skip taking the detour via the browse function and instead go directly to the search function on the start page. Here you can enter keywords, geographical terms or subjects. If you type linguistics, for example, a list of repositories welcoming data sets within the field of language studies will appear. Be mindful of your search criteria. Sometimes you may involuntarily exclude relevant results by being too specific. Now we'll take a closer look at the search results. At the top you will see the name of the repository followed by the name of the associated institution. For each of the repositories listed, you will be able to see the subjects they specialize in, the different types of content they work with, and the geographical scope. Each of these words or terms are clickable, and by clicking them, you will generate a new search, which will list all the repositories in that category. At the bottom, you will find a brief introduction to the specific repository. At the top right corner of every repository post, you will find a list with six different icons. Each of these, these icons represent a particular service or feature, which allows you to quickly determine, for example, if the repository provides open access to the data, if it is certified, or if they use the DOI as a persistent identifier system. The icons immediately show if the repository offers a service or not. If the box is colorized, the repository is offering a specific service. If it remains gray, it does not. If you click the name of the repository, you will find additional information regarding the repository. Here you will find a list containing contact details, a direct link to the rep repository, and information about the institution and the terms and standards used. 